Hey guys, so uh, we have a Pokemon Direct uh, that was just announced today. Uh, that is tomorrow. I know they don't. I kind of hate it when they don't give you this much time before they announce things, but that's just kind of how it is. Um, I am excited because I should be free when it is happening, so I will be streaming it live on Twitch uh, for those that want to join in and see my reaction as well. But I'll also repost it here on YouTube. Um, so, what exactly are they going to talk about? As you can see there, um, it's going to be 8 minutes long. Um, it, I'm pretty sure that when they announced Sun and Moon, it was a very short trailer. Um, it was not very long at all. Um, you know, basically enough time to, to put together a trailer or announcement, that kind of thing. Um, so I just want to talk today about a few things that it possibly could be. And there is a chance that it might not be any of these, but it would be very weird if it was not one of these. Um, I think I've kind of limited it to um, kind of the, the top um, five things that I think, you know, it could possibly be. Um, and, you know, right off the bat, um, I think that it's probably the most likely thing um, something we've known about since pretty much Sun and Moon came out uh, there has been this rumor uh, floating around from, you know apparently from people who know you know know people in the, in the industry um, have an idea of things that are coming up have inside information um, this this code name Pokemon stars thing that you know, if you've been, if you're a Pokemon fan, I'm sure you've heard about it at some point. Uh, basically, I mean, I mean, we really, even if you look at the date of this article uh, from Eurogamer, Gamer, we've known about this in particular since the day that Sun and Moon came out, which probably, you know, like the worst keep kept secret there is besides that Ubisoft Nintendo crossover. Which is true. That is actually happening. So we'll, we'll definitely see that at E3. Um, and, you know, I think there's a lot of people who are kind of shocked that it took this long for us to get more Pokemon news. I think a lot of people thought in the spring was when they would say something, but very close to E3. So I guess they want to get ahead of this. There's a chance that the reason that they're announcing this right now is to get ahead of all the publications who usually leak um, information like this, like Koro Koro. But also so that if they get it out there, then there's a chance that if they've already announced it, they can show it. Um, you know, if, if what they're announcing is a game that could possibly come out this year, which if, it's, if it is something that comes out this year, that's, that's pretty wild that, you know, even if this is something that's not on the Nintendo Switch, to have a Pokemon, a new Pokemon Mario and Zelda all in the same year is always pretty wild. Um, but... It is very likely that if it is codenamed Pokemon Stars, which just from the sound of it sounds like something that would connect to Sun and Moon, and I think we're all pretty sure that it would be. It would be like the third version of the game, which always they always tend to have improvements and stuff, but if we're talking about a game in Sun and Moon that was on the 3DS, then you obviously have so much more uh, graphical power to work with on the Switch so you could use HD assets uh, which is a big deal because you know it would fall in line as a main Pokemon game it would be our first mainline HD Pokemon game uh, you know even it being the third version I think the most likely scenario with stars is that it would be a dual title um, in 3DS and Switch kind of like two other games um, we know of uh, one being Fire Emblem Warriors, which is, I believe, exclusive to new 3DS and 2DS, as well as Switch. Um, and the, the thing that was announced recently in um, the, the uh, Capcom Monster Hunter game, uh, Double Cross, like a new edition that's coming to Switch, that was already out in Japan. And they can actually do crossplay together, which is pretty interesting too. So, uh, this is something that I've thought about for a long time because obviously this rumor's been around a long time. I, 
I always thought that Pokemon Bank was the solution to doing the trading between, you know, this possible third game and all the other ones. Um, but if, if there's some way to do local together, because, it, you know, it appears that's what Monster Hunter, um, I think, can do with the 3DS version and the Switch version. So I'm sure there will be some interesting solution to how they could fix that. But uh, I, I would be very excited for this. Um, I uh, there are a lot of things that have pointed to this, not just the initial rumor itself, um, but uh, if you were to take a look at this this photo here, um, let's see if I can actually maybe zoom in. Uh, let's see. Oop. All right, so. Um, if, if you do remember, um, when the game was revealed in February, um, there was a pick a peck being shown off on the screen, um, which we didn't know it was at at the time, but that's what it ended up being. Um, there is basically, um, you know, game artwork, uh, concept art, models, all this stuff and um, is it an HDN model game of pick a peck on the screen which obviously is not something that you have in the 3DS version of the game I also found what appeared to be um, you know two co two assets for each Pokemon one being the standard 3DS model that they use in the game and one being an HD asset for each one as well so this is one of the reasons that um, I believe that if this is Pokemon Stars that they're announcing. It could come out this year. Um, there is a chance that they co-developed Pokemon Stars with uh, Sun and Moon. Um, and uh, that would obviously make it way further along. It would obviously be a much bigger project for them than what they're used to. The, especially, you know, 3DS games recently and everything going back on all the portable systems. Um, but had they co developed it uh, kind of at the same time, then that would mean they would be much further along in the project than uh, people would expect them to be. And I think that that's a pretty good hint that they are. Um, basically, you know, this these models, this models being here, seeing that pick a pack. And I thought that was very strange right off the bat. I was like, that looks so good. Um, obviously something, you know, much more higher resolution than what can be displayed on the 3DS anyway. So that's another thing, you know, even in portable mode, the Switch runs on a 720p um, uh, IPS screen. So uh, would look much better visually even just on that compared to <laughs> the, the, what was it, the 240p that the, the 3DS runs that anyway, so that'll look much better, but then, you know, poke it to your TV, get that to 1080p, that's exciting. I I think that's exciting. I think the, the visual upgrade it will be certainly noticeable just because of such the, the low resolution that 3DS runs at anyways. Um, and obviously there won't be any slowdown on a much more powerful system. Um, I, I would to be totally fine with this, and I think there's even opportunity to expand upon the game like they usually do in the third set, third version of the game, um, just by um, maybe continuing with Lily's story. Um, if you uh, finish the game, you know that Lily um, eventually goes on her own journey um, to uh, the Kanta region, and um, that would actually make opportunity for you to play through Sun and Moon, um, doing the trials, which are, you know, obviously different from what we're used to in the other games, and then maybe even follow Lily and do more of a, um, what you're used to in the other Pokemon games. Maybe you yourself get to go through the gems in the other region. I think that would satisfy all fans, because then you have the people who liked the newer way that they did the game, and then you have people who liked the old school way. So. That's a, that's a big, clear way to, and, and let's say that it is for 3DS, maybe that's something that you make exclusive. Maybe just the visual thing is the only thing, because you've got to give people reasons to not just 
stick with their 3DS version that they already have and buy that and want to buy the Switch version. And some people, the um, visual uh, difference won't matter. They don't really care. They just like playing the games. Um, so we'll see how the versions would be different if they did. I really do think that um, it. I would be surprised if it was just a Switch game. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, this early on. I think Switch, um, especially after they did this, which I, I'm sure would be successful, um, would maybe get its own game eventually. But obviously they have that large install base with the 3DS. The, the Switch is doing fine. Um, you can't find them anywhere because they keep selling out so quickly. Um, because it's all in Mario Kart. It's um, I, And then eventually when Splatoon hits and Mario, I, I, I think they'll continue to do fine throughout the year. So, but this, uh, you insert a Pokemon game in there, um, my only hope is that Nintendo can get more Switch units out into the wild because that is the only problem with this launch so far, is that they just don't have enough to sell. I don't know if they realized they were going to sell this many. That's my guess. So, if you put a Pokemon game on there, it's going to sell bonkers numbers. I'm There's no doubt about that. I've been saying this for a long time. If they could ever get a mainline po console Pokemon game, it would sell really well. Because even the spinoffs sell well. So, they do this, and I, th I think they can consider it's an amazing year. An amazing launch for the console and everything. And um, I would say, you know, I, I would say Nintendo probably, it, you know, talk to the Pokemon company and convince them to do this. Because... Uh, I, I really would be surprised if it was their their idea, the Pokemon company's idea to do this, but maybe they saw potential in the Switch, I don't know. Um, but I, I'm just glad that, you know, at this point, they could actually get to this point. Now, um, I think it would be weird if um, they were just announcing 3DS games now, um, especially with this. I, I think it's the, the asset thing that really, like, points to the fact that yeah, there are HD assets, and I mean, it, it would be kind of surprising if um, they didn't. But um, you know, they—I know the Pokemon Company has to be happy that the Switch is doing well right off the bat. Um, if this is the, if this is part of the plan, anyways. But um, some would say they might not even really need this Pokemon game to be here, um, at, you know, this first year. But um, it won't hurt it. Will honestly help, and I, I think they just need to shore up their switch supply, and it'll be fine. But you know, I I, I talk a lot about this because you know it means a lot um, to to finally see that kind of jump made. I think this is the most likely um, candidate for what is going to happen tomorrow. I, I think I'd be surprised if this is not the thing that is announced. And there's, a, you know, it is eight minutes long, so there's a chance that there might be other stuff announced, which I think all of these things I'm going to talk about, they all have a chance. And there's a chance that maybe one or two of them could be talked about, because some of them are a little more minor. I think this would probably be the biggest one, because this is the thing that we have the most hints towards. This is the thing that um, just um, seems the most apparent. Uh, and... Um, like I said, I'd be excited about it. I like Sun and Moon. They were different. Um, but I think it's been long enough now since they came out that people would be okay with this. They wouldn't be angry that they, um, you know, just bought these games recently, like earlier or whatever. And I think there would be enough difference, especially in a Switch version, um, to make people want to uh, get back into it. And I, like I said, I think there's opportunity with the story to, to do even more. And especially if you have more powerful hardware, where you can make a much bigger world. People have been wanting multiple regions since Gold and Silver. That's why those are, um, you know, part of my favorite generation. Is uh, and you know, actually, we should talk about Gen Four, which is exactly the next thing I'm going to talk about. You know, I love the, the Gen Two remakes and, and Gen Four myself. Those are some of my favorite Pokemon games ever. So, uh, what else? What else could they talk about? Um, well, um, the new Pokemon movie, um, and I don't, I don't have, like, the trailer to, to talk about it, the specific things, but there are references 
kind of the Gen 4 in it. Um, some of the, the Pokemon that are in it. And um, there's a chance that we could see, we could possibly see Diamond and Pearl remakes on the horizon. They, they would be the next ones up if they continue the trend of going back through, since Gen 3 was our last one. Um, so there's a chance of that, and I know a lot of people got back into Pokemon then, I did. Uh, kind of fell out of it in Gen 3 myself, but I got back into it Gen 4, and then like obviously I said the Gen 4 remakes of, of uh, Gold and Silver War are to this day some of my favorite Pokemon games, so um, the, the online stuff was huge for them um, in that generation, so uh, you know, I know there have been some hints there. I don't know if there's anywhere else where there's really been, um, hints about this. Um, but I know it's something that certainly a lot of people would love. Um, I'd be fine with it too. Um, and they could even tie in, like, the dimensional stuff. That, that, a lot of that happens in, uh, Sun and Moon with the legendary Pokemon. Or, uh, in, um, Diamond and Pearl with the legendary Pokemon. So they could even tie that into the Ultra Beast and the Ultra Wormholes and kind of have an updated version for the stuff that happens after sun and moon and everything like that so um they could even tie that in so that'd be cool too yeah uh, i mean i guess maybe being the most hopeful of all things maybe <laughs> most of it's focused on pokemon stars tomorrow and then at the very end they hinted diamond and pearl remix then everybody would probably be happy that's, that's something for everybody there so that would probably be the most positive and exciting outcome that could come from this. Um, you know, it, it is only about eight minutes, so uh, they can't cram too much in there. But I, I definitely would see stars being an announcement for like this year, and then uh, Diamond and Pearl being a hint at the end for a, maybe something next year. So uh, I would guess myself that stars would probably be the most, the furthest along of all the things. So. And you know it's just sitting out there, so it's it's hard to say. It would be surprising if we didn't see anything about that. So, but I I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of people who would be excited for Gen 4 remakes. Count me included. Uh, another thing that could be announced. Um, there was a there's a rumor out there. Um, and it, it refers to um, a Japanese retailer leaking um, that the um, there is a. Uh, a switch arcade stick that works with Pokémon Tournament, and I don't know if that's meaning that the switch arcade stick is backwards compatible with the Wii U, <laughs> or if that means that it's hinting that Pokémon Tournament is indeed being ported. And I liked Pokémon Pokémon Tournament a lot. Um, I was just very sad that we never got the DLC characters that were in the arcade version of the game because. Um, I, I, I especially lo love Scizor as a uh, Pokemon so much, I would love to play as him. Uh, but I think that game would be a pretty awesome game to port to. I don't know if it would fit in very well this year with with um, you know all the other competitive uh, multiplayer games that we have, which is the reason why I don't feel like Smash Brothers would fit in very well this year, but um, who knows? You know, it is... There were a lot of really good games on the Wii U that people never played because a lot of people didn't own it, so uh, you'll probably see even more Wii U games being ported. Don't be surprised about that. Uh, I actually think that's probably one of the things that'll get announced at E3 is a, another Wii U port like Mario Maker or something like that. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is a possibility. I'd be fine with it too. It does not really, I wouldn't count it as really a major announcement. It, it is a game announcement for the Switch and there aren't many. At this point, I think the quality of a lot of them is very good, but there aren't that many, so um, always good to see something like that. Um, and again, wouldn't be surprised, would be fine with it. So uh, let me know how many guys actually have played Pokemon Tournament, because like I said, not as many people owned a Wii U, but it was a Pokemon related game, and there are a lot of people who, you know, will buy any Pokemon related spinoff or anything like that too, so. It was definitely a different fighting game, just kind of like how ARMS is way different to Pokemon Tournament. Um, seemed to combine a lot of stuff from... I almost felt like some, it, when you're running around in the one mode, it kind of felt like a Naruto fighting game, and then more traditional side-to-side um, -side combat as well. So it was interesting. It was cool to see Pokemon in a fighting game like that, um, outside of Smash Brothers. So uh, my, I always thought that, you know, 
there was so much opportunity for them to keep expanding the roster. So maybe if they do a port, then we'll definitely get those DLC characters probably even more. So I'd be happy about that. I like that game. Um, the uh, Pokemon Go, I mean, we wouldn't be too surprised if they, if they say something about it because we did just get confirmed recently that Legendary Pokemon and PvP trading is all coming to the game this summer sometimes. So, you know, maybe throw in a little, oh, this is the day that's going to happen kind of thing. And that's really all they would have to do. They wouldn't have to talk too much more about it. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't even talk about it at all because uh, they try. They usually do their own announcements. For Pokemon Go Niantic usually covers that. So, um, we will see. But I wouldn't be surprised if there was just like a little, uh, like a... 30 second thing like oh this is when that's coming out that kind of thing so um we'll see how exactly how many of these things they touch on but i, I wouldn't be too surprised if uh that's a possibility as well and then the the last thing that i think that they really could talk about this um is um detective pikachu uh, we never got the localization of this game and I've not played it myself, but I, I know a lot of people that uh, have, and they said that it's actually really good. They really enjoyed their experience with it. Um, why, like, you know, why exactly do I think this game is eventually going to get ported? Is because there's a movie that's going to be done about it. Um, they've got the director and everything now at this point. Uh, I think maybe it was the guy who did the, the Goosebumps movies, um, or movie. Uh, so, if you're gonna have this movie, I feel like um, you need to get that game localized everywhere. Um, and uh, I think was it in Japan they're like waiting on the the next like uh, set of DLC for it or something like that. So uh, you know maybe if you if you localize it, you can just include that all and have that DLC come out. But there, there have been people that have said that maybe they would consider maybe porting that to Switch instead. But I think it would be fine just sticking it to the 3DS still. It's a large user base. I think that's going to make more people buy it. And, you know, in the future, if you have that game out there, you can do tie-ins with the movie and that kind of stuff. So I'd, I think that the having that movie there is the key to that game eventually getting localized. But I wouldn't be too surprised. I'm, I'm actually surprised that we haven't had the localization yet. I keep, like, I've said it, like, every time I think Pokemon's gonna be somewhere that they're gonna talk about it, but they haven't yet, so. Um, but besides that, I mean, I, I can't really, I, I thought about this. I've been thinking about it all morning since I saw the announcement, and I, I can't really think of, uh, what else it would be. Um, unless it would just be... Pokemon game for Switch, but I'd be like just a new game, but I would be super surprised. I don't think they'll go to the next generation yet. Um, you know, I thought that they were done with third versions of games a while ago, but I think this presents an opportunity for them that's a little bit different than just doing the third version on the same system, even though I think they still would. I think the Switch version in its own right presents way more opportunity for them to maybe do m more um, and I think that's the thing that makes me the most hopeful um, I've never been one who is the most excited for third versions of the game even though they tend to be pretty good um, I think that it's just uh, there's so much op more opportunity to do something with the game and expand and maybe change things a little bit more for Pokemon I think Sun and Moon in its own right changed some stuff um, Instead of going with the traditional gym format, they always go with some people didn't like that, some really liked it that they took a chance. Um, I feel like it's a very playable game for like any age, which the Pokemon games, usually, that, that, that's how they're built anyways. Um, and some people say, well, they, they're too easy, that kind of thing. Um, I actually kind of think it would be okay if they had a difficulty setting in Pokemon games now just for those who maybe wanted to play a harder kind of version itself because I mean you always see so many people do ROM hacks and that kind of stuff of all the games anyways just to make them harder so I actually be okay with that um, but I think the opportunity to have 
a Switch version of a game uh, gives you so much more um, leeway with what you can do, I think, with the world especially. So, um, I would really love to see another um, region in the game. I uh, just, I'm hoping that that's maybe something that would be tied in here because you could easily tie it in with the story as I said before if you finish the game you know exactly what I'm talking about um, and how amazing would it be to see a place like Kanto on your your big screen in HD um, I, feel, I feel like it would make me emotional almost just to see something like that um, but uh, you know uh, what do you guys think? I mean, let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen. It's not that by the time this video gets out there, it's not that long until it happens. It's going to be in the morning. Um, which is nice. I like not having to wait. But uh, the Pokemon Company always does their own thing when it comes to announcements. So, I'm not surprised in the least bit <laughs> that we're a week out uh what was it even maybe a little bit more yeah about like pretty much a week out from e3 and they're gonna announce something i honestly think the main re i still think the main reason they're doing this is because it's gonna they're gonna have it at the show floor unless it's something that's coming out next year if it's something that's coming out this year i think it's gonna be there which is awesome for those that get to go to E3. Um, you know, hats off to you guys for paying your way or you know getting to go by being invited, that kind of thing. I think uh, if you're a Pokemon fan, I th I do think you're gonna get rewarded. Um, so it's, it's it's wild that they didn't say this, you know, talk about it earlier. But um, if it's a game, I think if it's a game that's coming out this year, you'll get the uh, I think you'll get to play it. I think there's a really good chance. Um, so, they said they were gonna, you know, completely, you know, have a huge focus on Mario, but, um, I don't think it's the, like, it's not like, um, last year where they just brought Zelda, obviously a showstopper, uh, it was best in game at E, at, uh, or best in show at E3, uh, last year, but I think there's gonna be way more to play, and, um, I really do think that if it's something like Stars and it's coming out by the end of the year, I really do think you'll get to play it. They'll definitely show it off at um, the Treehouse Live thing. They'll have the developers up there and everything like that. Um, and if it ends up being that and it is a Switch game, I mean, uh, how I it's way more of an impressive launch schedule than I ever thought that they would have for their first year. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. There's something new to play pretty much every month. And big things, like, that's literally, as I said, that's Zelda, they launch with Zelda, and then by the end of the year you have Pokemon and Mario. Those are their three biggest, um, IPs, um, that they have on their new console in the first year that would be wild. Uh, and so it's pretty exciting. If, you, if you've had a chance to get your hands on a Switch, then you got to be excited. If you haven't yet... I hope you, you'll be able to get one to enjoy whatever this ends up being. And, um, you know, it, maybe they'll just surprise us all and it's just something else. But those were just kind of the, the top things that I thought would be shown off. And I know the discussion, I kind of talked a little bit long about it, but I'm excited, you know? Uh, when, you're, when you're excited about something, and you could just go on and on about it forever. So, um... Like I said, I'll be streaming tomorrow, live in the morning. Um, you know, if you're on the West Coast, it's 7 a.m. Uh, and I, I'll probably start a good, you know, at least 20 minutes before. Um, and if you're on the East Coast, where I am, uh, it's going to be 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. So, uh, and if, if you can't watch it with me live, I'll, I'll have my reaction up here on YouTube as well. So... Uh, you know, if you're on the, if you're on the, um, you know, depending on where you are, I hope you can get up. I hope you're free. Um, but you know, I, they they always do post the video again on YouTube, so I hope you, I hope you don't have it spoiled for you before you get to watch it yourself. That's my hope. 
Uh, you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and you know, get up, uh, get up, watch some Pokemon news in the morning. Um, it's exciting. It's like it's like eight three before you three. I, <laughs> I'm I'm really excited. And if you um, are planning to watch a lot of E3, I, I will be streaming uh, pretty much all the big main conferences, Microsoft, Sony, EA, Ubisoft, um, you know, Activision if they're doing one. And then of course Nintendo's uh, Spotlight, um, the Treehouse Live stuff, the Splatoon, and ARMS tournaments. So uh, I'm, I'm sure whatever this is, if it gets announced, it will be talked about at E3 too. Uh, so more coverage of it, no question, and um, yeah, have a good one guys, talk to you later, bye.